So, what is genetic engineering? Genetic engineering is when the genetic code of an organism is altered to produce a desired trait. This is done by taking a gene from one and inserting it into the DNA of another to get the wanted end result. To get a better sense of how this is done, let's first understand how DNA works. In any living thing, the DNA acts as the instruction manual for the body. Certain genes code for certain proteins, which in turn make up all the different parts of the organism. Any trait that you can think of is coded by DNA. Now, once you know what codes for what, you can use genetic engineering to essentially edit the parts you want, to some extent. All living things use the same genetic code, DNA, made from the same four bases, so scientists can use special enzymes to cut parts of the DNA from one living thing and sort of sew them on to the DNA of the target. The result is then a living thing that has a new gene and a new feature as a result of that gene. Now, there are many examples where genetic engineering is used today, but we're going to focus on a very specific medical example to understand this concept better. Humulin, a medication used for diabetics, is created with genetically modified bacteria. Humulin can be given to diabetic patients who lack the insulin they need. Now how they do this is scientists figured out which section of our DNA codes for insulin, and they also found certain enzymes that can cut that gene out. What they do is, using enzymes and heat, they isolate specific gene, and then insert it into the DNA of bacteria. The result is now a bacteria that produces human insulin. And since bacteria can multiply really fast, you can create a lot of insulin in a very short amount of time. Now, this is great! Genetic engineering poses huge potential in the field of science, providing us with new insight on how our genes work. However, there's also a lot of controversy in certain respects to genetic modification, specifically genetically modifying our food. To learn more about GMO foods, check out our next video.